We want to find the x-intercept by factoring. To find the x-intercept, you need to put a zero in for the y. In this case, our y is f of x. So this is the equation that I want to now solve. We want to solve this one by factoring, which means that you're trying to find what two things multiply together to equal x squared plus 7x plus 6. If you have a 1 in front of the x squared, then what you want to do is you're looking for what two numbers multiply to make the last number, but add to be the middle number. So if 6 either has 2 times 3 or 1 and 6. So the only way that that's going to work is if you have a, use a 1 and 6. Now first, I have an x and an x here because x times x equals x squared. But then, you want to put a 1 and a 6 down for this one. And you're going to do plus because positive 1 and positive 6 added together give you a positive 6. When you add 1 and 6 together, it equals 7. Now that you have it factored correctly, what you need to do is you're going to take each individual factor and you're going to set each one equal to zero individually. So x plus 1 equals zero and x plus 6 equals zero. And you get x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 6. So that, that would be your two answers. Those are the two x-intercepts for part A. So now let's do part B. So for part B, Again, you're starting out by putting in a zero for the y term. And what you notice here is there's not a one in front of the x squared. However, if you look at everything else, everything else is actually divisible by three. So what would be easier to do on this one to get a one in front of the x squared is you want to divide both sides by three. This will make the number smaller. It'll make it easier to factor. So by doing that, you get this. 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. So here, this is another one that you want to factor. So we're going to do two things that multiply to make negative 8 and add to be negative 2. So first this is going to be x for both of those. And then numbers that multiply to make negative 8 and add to be negative 2, you're going to use 2 and 4 and I know one of these will have to be negative because 2 times 4 is positive 8. I need it to be negative 8. And so you want to pick this one to be negative because if I take a negative 4 and add positive 2 to it, I'll get negative 2 as a result. So here's going to the, uh, the factor form. And again, what you do is you're going to take each of those individually and you're going to set those equal to 0. So for this one, you're going to get negative 2. And this one, you're going to get... 4. So I have negative 2 and positive 4 would be the x-intercepts for part B, and here's my two answers for part A.